Some of you aren't that good at dribbling, but this is a Unisport video, my friends. We have solutions for you, and today we're gonna tell you exactly what to do in order to improve your game. Handstand. I'm here in nature because I live at the football field. I breathe football, I eat football, I am football. Now, what to do if you have this issue in the game? The very first thing you might be thinking is, I'm gonna give you a bunch of tricks and things that you can do. No, all right? You have to work on your technical ability. You have to do this all the time. You should be training, train, train, juggle, do all those things. Now, what do you do when that has failed? You're already in the game. You gotta have a new plan. That's the pass and move, my friends pass and move and then take the players on. You have to know that if you can't dribble and everybody knows that you're gonna be dribbling, it's too predictable. What we want out of you is to give and go. And there's a little trick that you could actually do to really get going when you do this pass and move. You pass, you act like you're running to do a give and go, but then you boom, you turn, and you're in on goal or you're in on the player, all right? So our very first tactic, if you can't dribble, it's don't dribble, okay? You don't need to do it. There's other ways to be dangerous in the game, and that, my friends, is all you need to do. Nowadays, everyone is distracted by a million different things, and that might actually be the issue with your dribbling. You might be trying to do 50 different skills. You might have never, ever focused and mastered one skill, one simple skill. That is this point. Master one skill. Is it the step over? That's simple. Is it the feint? Do that. Okay, croquetta? Figure it out. Figure out what type of player you are. Figure out why you want to do this move and then perfect it. It's got to be, you at the end of the day have to be doing this move so much you are going to be dreaming about it, okay? You're going to be thinking about it during class. You're going to be thinking about it in the shower. It is going to be your new best friend, okay? That is what you need to do with one move. One. I know there's a million things you can do. I know there's a million videos. Choose one move. I'm even getting mad. I'm getting, I'm getting angry at this. It's not your fault, okay? You know, we got all the things and all, everything on the screen, all the stuff you guys can, can handle. It's not your fault, but at the end of the day, the results are down to you. And if you choose one move and you master it, you will be excellent in the game. You can send me a thank you card too. If you're doing give and goes, if you've chosen a move, and it's still not working. All is not over, my friends. You still have the opportunity to use momentum. Momentum is a principle that is definitely gonna be on your side. This is a law of nature. If you can get speed going in your direction, if you can get the ball going in your direction, you get the defender moving backwards, dribbling becomes way easier. How to set this up for yourself? You've either gotta take the ball on speed, on pace, as soon as you get the ball, or you've gotta take off before you get the ball. That's right, before the pass is coming into you, you know that you're gonna take this guy on, you sprint like crazy. So by the time you get the ball, hopefully under control, all you've gotta do is move one way or the other. You're gonna dribble right past this guy, all right? If you're, if you're going a million miles an hour and this guy's backing up trying to defend you, it's impossible that he is going to stay with you. Use momentum to your advantage. This is especially useful for you wingers and strikers because you're in the offensive third. You don't need a whole lot. You don't need to beat the player even completely. Remember this. If you're dribbling and you're in the offensive half, you don't need to beat the defender entirely to get off the shot or to get off the cross. You just need enough space for you to execute, all right? So that's what dribbling really means. Dribbling efficient at the high level isn't always about making the guy fall over and fall down. It's about getting you just enough space to make that pass, make that cross, or put the ball in the back of the net. I like these shoes. Just throwing that out there. Puma Ultras, feel good. Okay, you can get those at Unisport. We'll get them for you right down below. And uh, yeah, all right. That's the vid, my friends. Leave us a like, comment down below, subscribe, check out the description box with everything we have for you at Unisport. We love you guys. We'll see you later. <laughs> you didn't think I was gonna catch it. And you probably didn't think I was gonna hit the crossbar, which I am right now. Another good day.